They had an opportunity just a few days ago to review the results at the CXC exams and to see the level of passes in mathematics. It is of great concern to me. It is not just a social problem. It is imperative for our economic development. The country cannot develop without us doing better at mathematics. The jobs that are paying better and the jobs that we need to attract to Jamaica, which pays better, involve science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There's a lot of talk that, you know, it's low wage, low wage, and we need more pay. Somebody needs to say, and I guess I am the person who would have to say it, wages don't just come out of the sky. You don't just increase wages like that. You know, it's not just a snap of a finger. We have gone through that period. You can increase the wages as much as you want. But if it is not tied to something that is in the real sector, then all we're doing is creating inflation. The wages are tied to what you produce. And the productive sector for Jamaica, if we're going to be bringing in new jobs that are going to be paying higher wages, those industries, if we're going to break from the traditional industries of BPOs and hotels, to start to think now about attracting software development, artificial intelligence. Uh, let's say we don't go to those highly technical things, but let's talk about assembly of microchips. Not making them, you know, but just to assemble you know, appliances and electronic equipment that are made here. Let's think about industries in medical technology. These are industries that require this very high level of training and that is where we will need to be focused so when we a few years ago decided that we have to transform the education system it is because we understand how to transform not just education but to transform the economy that yes the complaint is that jamaica is has been described as low growth and low wage but to, to move from low growth and low wage we need to move to high skill and high productivity. And where does it start? It starts with the pep generation that is here. We need to guarantee that 20 to 30 percent of our students will go into STEM and we will be able to produce the engineers that we need.